take a ball out for the national anthem and when the right and center fielders play catch after you know when you typically throw the balls back into the dugout we throw it up into the stands and they write little messages on it like you know hit a bomb and you'll get this or that and uh, you know and they'll say nice hit and stuff like that and they just they throw it back to us the next inning when we go out there and you know it's a nice little tradition we have here at Ole Miss. Did you play in high school or anything ever? Um, I played softball in eighth grade, but I was the pinch runner. I didn't really get to play much. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that so, a position? I, what is that? Is that what it's called? <laughs> that works. I think that's that's a pretty good throw for a pinch runner. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> what does the ball look like at the end of the game? Oh, it's it, you. You think that it was something that had been played with for like 15 years? It's got so much writing on it, and then you know people can't find anywhere else to write so they'll mark some stuff out. We gotta cross that out because that is bad juju. <laughs> Does the penmanship get worse after a few adult beverages in right field? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you think that like some five-year-olds were out there writing messages on there, you know? I've never played anywhere else in, in the country where we've had an atmosphere like this, and I don't think there's any place that has as big of a student section as we do here. Former Ole Miss Rebel Cooper Osteen, what's it like here in the studio section yeah. catching the ball? Get out! Guys, we have a home run, maybe. A home run! All right! The Ole Miss Rebels have just pulled off mid-interview with a walk-off home run, seven to six. I bought him. Rebels win! Rebels win! Rebels win! Oh my! Pandemonium here in Oxford. It's amazing. <laughs>